welcome back to Condi TV. I'm Tori, and today I'm so excited to show you the new and improved DK3T Latte Mug Press from George Knight. So what makes this a latte mug press? Well, the latte mugs are tapered, and the press needs to be too. If you're working with a Mug 11 or a straight mug, you're gonna need a different press. So let me introduce you to some of the DK3T's features. The DK3T is a George Knight press, so you know you're gonna get that legendary quality and that reliable performance that all George Knight presses have. You may even recognize the display screen here from some of our other George Knight presses. You have the temperature button, the program button, and two up and down arrows to adjust the settings. If you're not familiar with how to work, one of these displays, then visit Condi TV where we have other videos that go in depth about how to control these settings. There are three other adjustments that you can make with this press. The first, using the included tool, and that's gonna be to this knob right here. This knob over controls the overall pressure of the press. So whether you're working with a mug that is thinner or thicker than the one we're using, you can get that proper pressure every time. So in the event that you have a different taper, you can adjust the angle using these screws. The first screw adjusts the opening diameter, and the second screw adjusts the bottom diameter so that you can get the perfect angle for the perfect press every time. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make a tapered latte mug using the DK3T press. The first step is removing all of the rubber pieces from our substrate. We don't want those to get melted in the press. And once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and cut out our image. So I went ahead and cut out a piece of protective paper to match my image as well. Now we're gonna take our mug and we're gonna line our image up with it, making sure that there's no overlap like this. We don't want that to happen. And making sure there's no gap like that. You want a nice fit right there in the middle where those ends are barely touching. And when you find that edge, you can secure it with a piece of heat tape. Uh-oh. I like to put a couple pieces on there just to prevent any sliding of the image. So get one more piece on here. And then we're good to go. But before we Put it on the press, we're gonna cover it with a piece of protective paper. And I want to make sure that the creases, or the seams, excuse me, the seams, line up with the image that we have already taped down. So I'm gonna secure that first side with a piece of heat tape. And then I'm gonna wrap, continue wrapping it and secure it again with another piece of heat tape, making sure that it is nice and snug on all sides. Might need one more piece there. And then we're ready to go to the mug press. Now, I'm gonna keep that seam facing out towards me, and I'm gonna make sure to note which side the top of the cup is when I slide it down. And once the entire image is covered, we clamp. And for all of the latest instructions, visit condi.com. All right, so we are halfway through our press. I'm just gonna unclamp the mug press and give the latte cup a little bit of a spin. So now that crease is gonna be in the back. And then I'm gonna reclamp it and we're gonna continue our press for another few minutes. All right, there's our final timer announcement that this mug is done, so let's look at how we did. Uh, be very careful because the mug is very hot, so let me use my heat glove tan. And let's see. Let's see if I can pull it off with my nail. Let's get this little piece of tape too. And voila! It is coming off. It looks good. It looks really good. Man, it came along 
really well. So I'm gonna let it finish cooling and then I'm gonna put my rubber top on and my rubber plug in the bottom and then we're ready to go. So now that our latte mug is finished and has had some time to cool, we can assemble it, putting the little rubber stopper at the bottom. And that's just to drain any water that's built up from condensation because these mugs are double walled. And finally, we're gonna top it off with our rubber lid. And now it's ready to go. All thanks to our DK3T George Knight Latte Mug Press, which would make a great addition to any shop or business because these latte mugs are a hot product. For more tips, products, and services, visit Condi.com. And to see more of my videos, be sure to watch Condi TV. I'm Tori, thanks for watching.